Stephen Harrison Academy is a, it's a social enterprise and it delivers snooker to uh, disadvantaged groups uh, such as uh, mental health groups, learning disabilities, uh, NEETS which is not in education, employment and training, uh, probation, uh, kids with uh, children with autism, uh, children with Asperger's, basically a big range of groups. Now this time when you do it, if you're going to put a bottom on the ball, Courses work is, is basically, obviously they learn about snookers, how to play snooker the correct way, uh, but throughout the course it also teaches uh, people, such as for instance the Red Award, we'll be looking at rules of snooker, uh, equipment using snooker, scoring etiquette, that will be for the first, uh, the first two hour session. Seven. Seven. Bringing the snooker ball barrels in, we're actually adding the numerous into it. So basically people are coming along, they're playing snooker. Uh, they're getting involved in uh, social inclusion, meeting new people uh, as they come along on the course. But they get involved, they play, they play the snooker, they're hitting the balls and uh, they're working out the, the values of the points and then they sit down and they'll do like a worksheet. In QP rooms, yeah, people who literally have numerous skills and they're absolutely key. Without them, people find it very difficult to get work, particularly in the current climate. If you can enable people to get those sorts of skills, then they become more employable. The courses are accredited by a company called Lasdam. Uh, they credit most school work. We are actually custom, uh, customised accreditation. We've put together, Steve Management Academy has put together a, sch a scheme of work uh, which fits into that, that remit. Uh, basically what we do is, is our course lasts for 60 hours, so it's worth uh, six credits, which goes towards uh, a GCSE. Learning, boring, if you ask me. To me, when I went to school, I got bored with it. If it's to do with sport and things like that, I took tended to take a bit of knowledge into it. And, uh, from what I, my experiences at school, all the world is sports, very constructive. I learned. So, the kids, some kids were maybe a bit slow learning difficulties or just don't want to learn. This might give some incentive. There's one game what we're playing, and this, this game's called Scribble. It's like Scrabble. We have the sets of balls, what I've got. Uh, got the letters on of the alphabet, so we've got 26 lettered snooker balls, so we've completely created a new game of snooker and what happens is the, uh, the service sheet will just try the balls and then they get the worksheet and they'll, they'll make a word and the, the, the values of the word it goes on their parent system and they're using the, uh, the literacy and they're using the numeracy. Yeah, what we've got, we've got fruits, so yeah. what we're going to learn about is learning healthy eating as well, yeah. so here we've got, for a red ball we've yeah. got cherries, Yeah. Right? yeah. For a yellow ball we've got bananas, for a green ball we've got a green grape, and for yeah. a brown we've got a brown kiwi, yeah. and for a blue we've got a blueberry, yeah. for a pink we've got a pink lady apple, yeah. and for a black we've got a black grape. And what this game teaches me, right, is basically how to eat healthy, and we have prizes at the end of the game, and what happens is at the end of the game, the person who has the most fruit, yeah. you get to pick on your colour, Right, we'll get gifted a banana at yeah. the end of the game, or they get gifted a bag of grapes. Yeah. And basically, it's just to help us to, you know, learn about how to keep his body healthy. See, they, they, they're learning without realising that, that they're actually learning, uh, which is which is a great thing, and it's it's, it's a great thing to do. And in life school, one of our service users uh, had, had, had remarked that it helped him ever so much uh, when he was going to the shops. So basically, was buying, you know, food, doing his food shopping, and, and and it was helping him, you know, use and, and, and correct his change and when he has got back and counting up. And so the, these things are really working. You know, you can see a difference in people. Okay, what we've seen in our care plans is that on a on a mental health group is they've come from primary care, they've come from, into the community, uh, they've they've access, access the snooker centre. 
Uh, they've gone on a course and done a scheme of work, they've met new people, their family new lease of life and we're looking to get these people uh, back into further education or maybe full time employment. We've had some case studies where people's got, you know, what you know basically they've gone on our course and, and got back into full time employment, albeit it might be not for the academy itself. They might have got in, uh, uh, you know. I mean, one of the guys wrote a letter to us that he got a job with the, the city council, and he don't think he could have ever done that uh, without, you know, coming along and meeting new people and, and finding that confidence. It's a good time down here. I love it. Services is known to go. Nick helps me with me treats, but I don't know. But but I didn't know. I've learned a lot of things off making Steve. Uh, Gary Michael, I mean, he, he hasn't, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's 53 years of age, I think now, but he's, he hasn't had a job in 30 years, so it's, it's quite a long time. And, and we've found his niche, he's, he's absolutely fantastic at the job he does. And we've trained him up to deliver these courses. And, uh, and he's absolutely brilliant, and he enjoys his work, what he's doing. And, and you can see the passion that he's got for the people he's working with. And, uh, and it's just giving him a chance in life. I mean, for somebody who hasn't had a job in 30 years, it shows that this, this, this course can really do what it said, the justice uh, for people. And I think we need to push it out more and, and give everybody a chance to go on it. The best thing about helping with cannabis, I would say we're making a difference. We're yeah. making a big difference. Yeah. Uh, I look at the people that's in here. Apart from this, uh, there's nothing else. There's nothing else, there's nothing else. There's nothing else like this. Sheffield, or that I can think of. And, uh, there's nothing like this for us to do, but this is how busy it is. They walk through the door and they're brilliant, really, absolutely brilliant. They come in here, very polite. If anything you want to ask me, they ask me, they ask Steve. You know, they will be here, they enjoy themselves, and they look forward to it. We had a learning difficulty snooker tournament just in Sheffield. Uh, basically, we got 128 service users with learning difficulties into our competition the first year alone and we, we put on a showcase uh, at Marquee in Sheffield City Centre right, at the, right in the heart of the city at Top of Fargate during the World Championship as well on the day of the World Championship so we kind of we had a 75,000 footfall uh, uh, walking across uh, around our Marquee during that day and we had many queues trying to get in to see what we was uh, offering Sheffield and to, to sh we was giving a voice that we are, you know, we're here to, and we're to be counted and the people with learning difficulties loved it. We've come out with this, with this great idea for a name for a, a, a mascot, uh, Kiwi, and, and he's, uh, he's a snooker Kiwi and he's fun and we've got a big costume what's made up of him. And, and he goes along and he does kids parties and stuff and, and just makes everybody you know, happy and there's trick shots and that kind of thing. But now we've got him a, a friend what we've, uh, what we've designed and her name's uh, Miss Q. Uh, so obviously like Miss Q at Snooker, so we've got Q and Miss Q. And uh, basically we're looking uh, to be doing some like, interactive learning for the younger kids on, over the internet. If we're servicing 4,500 service users in Sheffield, uh, uh, basically what, what we're doing is we're doing it from the range of groups, we're going from mental health, we're going from learning difficulties, we're going from needs, we're going from uh, youth offending service, we're going from probation rate, we're going from physical disabilities, the, the diverse range of groups is, just goes on and on we can uh, work with the private sector as well. Basically as we come from here, this is just in Sheffield alone and just in one of our groups, on, a, on a, one of our learning difficulty groups, we have over 130 members in that. So we can take this around the UK most definitely. Well hopefully we can, we can build on that and make uh, the possibilities uh, available for more people. I think that's what it's about expanding and looking at this um, you know, the student programme now, uh, seeing how you can actually get a qualification uh, through student, you know, not just by playing but by learning skills as a result of that. I mean that, that's a, a, a real new venture, something I want to be supportive of and you know, try and make sure it's expanded and, and opened up to more and more people. What we're saying is we can take this to a new level. I mean, we can actually reinvigorate every snooker club in around the UK. Uh, so it's not only, uh, uh, you know, basically the uh, the groups what, what we service. We can actually reinvigorate these snooker clubs. These snooker clubs have got no trade in the day whatsoever. What we're saying is, we can bring your trade in your snooker clubs. Uh, we can actually put the groups into your clubs. We can teach them. We can pay for your snooker lives to be going. Oh, maybe you might want to train your own staff up and send them on a course. And then let us train your staff, up. and then you could buy a license off us, and, and we could we could work it that way. Or basically, 
the, the, there's all different ways what we can get all these snooker centres back up and running around the UK because there's been such a drop off and, uh, and I think we can make that happen.